Yo, what it do, Dat Park Football Club family? This is Coach Hill checking in right now on Dat Park Football Cam. Today we had a little switch up. We were supposed to be at Desert Vista versus Brophy, but instead we wanted to see some heavy hitters. So where did we come, Coach Stokes? We came to Williamsville versus Highland. This should be a very good game. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. Y'all stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, Dat Park Football Club. Make sure you follow us on our Instagram, Dat Park underscore football underscore club, and stay tuned to what we got next.
Holland with zero before halftime. I ain't know Holland was like that. They really cut like that, though. Highland got some playmakers. Highland defense keep balling. But look, this is what I came to tell you, right? On our 50th subscriber, we're going to be giving away a gift. So, what I need y'all to do if you're watching this right now, click the subscribe button, press that notification bell, you dig? So that way you up to date to every drop that we drop. Once we touch 50 subscribers, we'll pick a, a random subscriber to give a special care package to.
if you see what I seen, obviously this game was one sided. Holland was coming through tough from the very beginning. They was up 14 0 before the quarter was even over. Like, watching Holland, I didn't even know they was coming like that. I didn't know that they were that good for real. Now, listen, don't get me wrong. Don't take that as disrespect. I knew they was good, all right? They just beat Basha a couple of weeks ago, and Basha was the defending state champ. So I knew they was good. Highland always had a solid team. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't attack me. Don't attack me. But these boys was different. I thought they was all from Texas. Everybody on the offense, if you just seen closely from the very first clip, they all was 6'4 and above. The quarterback was 6'5. The tight end was probably 6'6, 260. Easy. You feel me? The lineman was big. Like, they whole offense was different. You feel me? They defense was shutting down all game. All game. From the very first play to the last time they was on the field, they defense was coming through strong. You feel me? No games played. Me personally, I see the same plays every week from every team. I don't know who be making up y'all plays for real. Now, they work. Don't get me wrong. They work. People be getting dubs. I'm not taking that away from that. But it's just like it ain't no creativity going on. You know what I'm saying? Like every school in the state of Arizona running the same plays over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you're what you're going to say. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I could dig that. But when are we going to elevate? When are we going to add some smarts to this? You know what I'm saying? When are we going to add some, some, some beautiful offense to this? You know what I'm saying? Some Oregon in 2013. You know what I'm saying? When are we going to see some electricity? Because we're not seeing no electricity. We're seeing flea flickers and powers and traps. It's the same old thing. But don't get me wrong. Like I said, if it work, don't fix it. Straight like that. Now, for Williamsfield, I thought they was going to come a little stronger. But when they first ran on the field, I'm looking at the sideline like, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be a good one right there because if you compare the sizes of them, it was like you had Andre the Giant over here and you had Kevin Hart over here. I'm just saying, don't, don't, don't shoot the messenger. You feel me? Now, this is another issue that I have with Arizona football here. Why do I always see? Because look, I coach that part football club. I coach. I've been coaching. You feel me? Why is all the athletes in the stands? I wants to know why do I keep going to these football games and I'll be seeing a whole bunch of people that's in the stands that could be on that field helping their school and helping their team. What else you got better to do? Now, some of y'all play basketball. Cool. Some of y'all play baseball. Cool. But it's not basketball season and it is not baseball season. So at the end of the day, what else is you doing? Athletes get athletic. Athletes play everything they could possibly play. All that, I play basketball, I don't want to get hurt for basketball. Listen, save it. All that, I play baseball, I don't want to get hurt for baseball. Save it. Because this is the thing. You playing all these other sports, going to heighten your chances of getting that D1 scholarship, D2 scholarship, D3 scholarship you've been trying to get. So save it, man. If you're an athlete, be athletic. Save all the nonsense. But back to what I was talking about, too. I know y'all seen in this video, I highlighted an individual who was doing things that he shouldn't have been doing. Fellas, youth, young women, stay your age. You feel me? When you living in these environments and you living in these good neighborhoods and you going to great schools and you got expensive clothes on because your family have money, stay away from the gang and the street life. It is not cool. You feel me? None of that is cool. Say no to the gang in the street life. None of it is cool. Y'all be watching the music videos, listening to the rappers, and you, oh, oh, the rappers do it. They're rappers. They already have a career. That don't work for everybody. You know what I'm saying? There is way more people who act like they're gangbangers, who end up dead 
or in prison for the rest of their life than they do end up big time rappers and actors and successful individuals. So make a decision. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you live in these night type neighborhoods. You don't live in the ghettos and the trenches of your city. You live in the nicer areas. You live in the suburban areas. Act like what your parents raised you to be. You know what I'm saying? Be something better than what you're trying to be. Because it ain't always what it's all hyped up to be. Back to the football. I need to give some shout outs to some people. Now, for Williamsfield, 13. Xavier Buckles. I had the pleasure of being around this individual when he was a freshman with the Arizona Dolphins. I helped coach on that team, okay? It was another guy. Their corner, Dion, was there too. And number 21, I can't remember his name, but they all played for the Dolphins. And I just so happened to have the opportunity to be around these individuals. These guys showed up. Now, one thing about Williamsfield that I just found confusing, why switch quarterbacks every other, every other series? If number 13 come out and score, he need to stay in the game. If he come out and score again, he need to stay in the game. Okay? Simple as that. That's just basic coaching. That's basic understanding. Now, number five for Williamsfield, he was a tank. Y'all was feeding him. He couldn't do what he needed to do. He did score. We're not going to take that back. He did what he needed to do. But at the end of the day, I think he could be something great. He a big body and he got talent. He need to be used right for show. Y'all wide receiver, I believe he was number 10. He could be used for show. On defense, you had number 8. You had number 21. You feel me? You had a, uh, another corner. I believe he was 23 or 28. One of those things. But there were some ballers on the Williamsfield side. You feel me? Now for Highland. Y'all 6'8 quarterback. Truth. He a baller. He got a nice ball. Y'all tank train running back number four? Boy, if I ain't seen Derrick Henry in a high school body, I seen him tonight because that boy was carrying and he was rolling. Y'all whole offensive line? Boy, y'all feeding them boys over at Highland. Y'all in that weight room for sure. Y'all tight ends number 82? Hey, I don't know what they got in the water over at Highland. Or what they serving up in that cafeteria. Y'all got them boys. Y'all whole defense. Boy. Y'all got them peoples, man. Hey, keep grinding. I see Highland going deep this season. You feel me? Listen, if y'all know all these individuals, drop their name in the comment section. You feel me? So that way we can go ahead and give them a follow on our Instagram. Before you get off this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That part football club, click the notification bell. Make sure you drop a like, comment, and share to your people. Just like I said in the video, on our 50th subscriber. 50th subscriber. However, you seeing it, we got a giveaway for y'all. So make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and share to your people. Get that subscribe up too. Follow us on our Instagram at that part underscore football underscore club. We following you back. Hey. This is a great season so far. This series that we got going, this is episode six. And it's going like that. It's turned up like that. Stay tuned to what we got next. Y'all handle y'all business in school. Make sure y'all being safe outside of school. Handle y'all business. This is the Dat Park Football Club High School Series. Stay locked in. Coach Stokes signing off. I'll see y'all next week.